This is our 3D scanner handle made specifically for the Einstar, featuring custom grips formed using the shape of your own hands and remote viewing. It is the handle you never knew you needed. Now, let's see how it was made. First, we started in Fusion 360, drawing up our design. After a few prototypes, this is what we came up with. Removable handles that slide securely in place, and for extra security, there is a bolt attaching the whole scanner to the handle. There is a bolt in the front for a phone, tablet, hot shoe, or mount. Okay, so how cool would it be to have custom grips that are formed to the shape of your own hands? Or maybe you have multiple users for the scanner. With the removable handles, each user gets to have their own unique handles tailored just for them. So we did a quick scan of just the face of our hands and let the software make it watertight. Here is how you can use that scan to create your custom grips. We start by importing the handle to the Prusa slicer. Next, we add the scanned STL as a negative part and position it in place. Some trial and error might be required and you can always cut and print just the handle portion to see if you are happy with your grip. After printing for a shocking eight hours on the Bamboo X1, we have our parts. Using almost no support for this handle and only using 200 grams of filament, the removal was easy with the supports just falling off. Assembly is very straightforward. The handles slide in place with little effort depending on your printer's tolerances. After all, this is FDM printing and a sneeze could make your print go sideways. I used 3D printed bolts because why not? My one handle ended up being a tight fit, but with some persuasion, it slid right in. We use a phone adapter to hold our phone in place. All that is left to do is slide in the scanner and attach it with a 3D printed bolt to hold it in place. And there you have it, our handle for the Einstar. You can also lay it flat as to not damage the face when you are not using it. Link to the free files for the scanner handle are in the description. We hope you enjoyed this video and see you next one.